obviously the Rahma Foundation, um, but also Rabata, uh, mashallah, amazing institute. Everyone knows Dr. Tamara Gray and the work that she's doing with centering women's voices in Islamic history and what that means now. It's online, it's accessible. So between Rahma and Rabata, mashallah, we have resources we never had in the past. Also, As Salam Institute is Dr. Akram Nadawi's online institute. And if you'd like to do a higher level, um, like a series that have to do with uh, other texts that he specifically has teaches, you can also study with him. I didn't mean to say higher level, as in Rabata doesn't have higher level. They both have higher level. They're just different types of tracks. I know Dr. We wanted Dr. Haifa to be here today, but she wasn't able to join us because of her schedule. Uh, so I will say uh, Jenna Institute. Now that you've taken all the woman ones, <laughs> which is great, they're usually the ones I give first on the list, alhamdulillah, that came. Um, other places that, yet I always tell people who ask me, especially uh, high school students, college age students, or anybody who is in a stage of life where they can actually take what we call a gap year, I really encourage people to take a gap year in their studies, because at the end of the day, whether you graduate at 21 or 22, no one's going to remember. Or if you go finish your graduate degrees at 24 or 25, no one's going to remember. But that one year that you spent studying Islam, right, and I'll give you some of the names of the seminaries in just a moment here, is going to make a massive difference in your life. So I really encourage people to literally pause for a bit and take a gap year if they can. Inshallah. And if you can't, then do the programs we're talking about here. At Abata, you take one course at a time, one course at a time, like a semester, right? You can, every woman in this room can literally add a Rabata course in their year. Every woman can do that. Also, Jenna Institute does something called the Year of Knowledge, so you dedicate a year to learning the foundations of your deen. The other seminaries that are both online and in person is the Qalam Institute, which is based out of Texas. And that is can take you from step one, literally, literally alif ba ta, literally, literally letters, alif ba ta, to full on five year alim alima program. I was visiting them in Texas just a few months back, and I went into the beginner class. They said, this is year one. They said they started in, so I was visiting in November. They started in September with the academic year. They said, these students here only knew Alif Ba'ta when they came, and they could only recognize the alphabet. And I said, what? Because I'm standing in the back of the class, and they are literally legit reading text. <laughs> and I'm like, how in three months did you get people going from Alif Ba'ta to reading? It's amazing, right? But that's what happens when you dedicate to like a strong, good program. So I encourage you to look out for Qalam and do a virtual or you can do it in person in Texas. And then you can also, if you have a year, go to Taysir Seminary that's in Tennessee. Ustada Zainab Ansari, who's one of our dear teachers and beloved friend of ours, is the resident scholar of the Taysir Seminary. So a woman, mashallah, a resident scholar. And it's a year-long program in Knoxville, Tennessee. So I'll add those two to the list as well. Taysir Seminary. You've said them all. <laughs> like, no, she wants to spell it. I can't think of any others. Those are all the ones I was going to say. As well? Yeah. Oh, we forgot Zaytuna, of course, of course. <laughs> which yeah. is in our neighborhood. Yes. Mashallah. If you're hoping to do a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, of course, here in Berkeley, uh, it has to be in person at Zaytuna College. Um, Taysir is spelled T-A-Y-S-E-E-R. Taysir Seminary. Mm -hmm. That's in person in Knoxville. Qalam is the one that has both. And another one, if you want to send your kids uh, in person, is Miftah. I think a lot of you have heard about Miftah. They were in this masjid before, and they're in Michigan. And they have a full-on boys program and now a girls program as well. But they're um, in-person uh, program. 